Yesterday, we brought you the story of a Tazewell County board member, Jay Hall, after one of his Facebook comments surfaced. You can see it here. She looks like she has mongoloidism down syndrome. It is Wednesday evening, everyone. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Caitlin Canute. Thank you for joining us tonight. Now, this coming to light the day before a Tazewell County board meeting. Caitlin Pearson was at that meeting tonight. Hall was not. She has the vigorous response from the public. It is tonight's top story. It was a spirited public comment session at the board meeting in Tazewell County as the public addressed comments made via social media by board member Jay Hall. The comment on Facebook was attached to a Fox News apology to climate activist Greta Thunberg from Sweden. It went around on Facebook. I saw it and I was like, are you serious? Because that's not something I think that anyone on a board, um, let alone in any sort of power, should be saying online about anyone. He said, quote, she looks like she has mongoloidism, Down syndrome, end quote. Thunberg has openly talked about having a different condition, Asperger's syndrome. Everyone who spoke a public comment addressed the post. One teacher who works with special needs kids called his comments bigoted. An elected public official, the heir of a successful local business, and the president of the local Ambucks, no less, Punching down on a child with special needs from behind his keyboard. Ambox is a nonprofit that works with people who have special needs. This was especially concerning to Tazewell County residents who have children with those needs. He doesn't recognize people with Down syndrome as having the ability for proper self-expression, for self-determination, for having legitimate opinions, thoughts, beliefs. Those who spoke at public comment, along with two board members, Joe Wolf and Brandon Hovey, called for formal apologies and his resignation. I do not believe he felt guilty for what he did. I believe he felt guilty for being caught. Screenshots were made. Those comments are set in stone. They are matters of public record. Uh, again, I believe a request for a formal letter of resignation is warranted. Jay made some inappropriate and disappointing comments that are unlike Jay, I and mean, Jay's a, a solid board member, and it's unfortunate. The people that spoke tonight were very earnest, very passionate, and they communicated very clearly their disgust in his comments. Board Chairman Zimmerman said that Hall had already planned not to attend this meeting previously because of prior plans and had considered attending after these comments came to light, but in the end was not in attendance this evening. For now reporting in Pekin, Caitlin Pearson, back to you. Thank you, Caitlin. And we did reach out to Hall after the meeting. He initially agreed to speak with us, then later declined an interview. But via text, he said, quote, all I can say is I'm extremely sorry that my choice of words was offensive, not my intention at all, 